Hey there, YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Is a burning thing. And it makes a fiery ring. So today we are going to have uh, how to fix Roll Tarp Lesson 101 one here. Uh, as you can see, I got left a fucking mess. Uh, this is not going to be fun. I'm going to have to figure out how to fix this. I have all the stuff here. You can see here I got new cable and, you know, all the tools and shit to fix this. But first, we got to go up there and fucking manhandle this thing back up in there. I don't know how this shit happens. Uh, again, people don't use their fucking eyes. And it just aggravates the fuck out of me. So let me get you up here on the scaffolding. I got to get a second ladder dropped in the truck so I can easily uh, get in there and not step on the tarp to get it lifted back up. And we're probably going to throw a broom up there just to help. But let's go check this out and I'll show you how to you know fix and adjust these tarps a lot of people don't understand how these work they're used to like what do you call like a flip tarp and stuff like that this is a cable driven tarp uh you know you have to have drivers that kind of know how the fuck this thing works and uh none of them do so uh you know typical day-to-day -day stuff so Let's uh, fix this here together. As you can see, uh, half the tarps in the fucking bed. Uh, it's not up here on the rail system like it's supposed to be. Uh, that's what this stuff is. So we gotta jump up in there, lift this up, and then recable everything. Oh. Fuck! You know, let's hope that none of the fucking bows are bent or fucked up, because that'll be a pain in the ass. But this is what I gotta do, so let me get it out of here and I'll show you kind of what it's supposed to look like when we get it out of here. I don't know, I won't be able to record none of this because I gotta get down in there. Uh, what you have to do is, we gotta loosen this up first so we can sneak, uh, <clears throat> We can get this, uh, shit, what do you call this here? The cable back on one side before we string the other side here. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna run this in pretty far here. And you need an inch and an eighth, an inch and a sixteenth, and a three quarter inch wrench. Uh, if any of you guys are truck drivers out there and have, these style tarps, I'm doing the owner in its service here by explaining how these work. So again, all right, so then what we got to do is slide the tarp back some more flip this up because we got it going this is what really sucks because I don't want to undo this and pull her tight let me see if I can get a couple more turns on this fucking thing got asphalt all stuck in it. Now we're going somewhere. Alright. Now, let's see if we got this here. Okay. Now that we got that one on there, what I'm going to do is uh, snug this up. All 
Okay, and we'll just run this in. Okay, then what we'll do is after we get the other side strung, uh, we will come and pull this back some more so we can get more tension uh, on these rods. But we got to get the shit uh, in the other one first. So let's go do that. Little tech tip before you try to stick your cable through these. Uh, uh, tarp bows just put a little piece of tape you don't want it too big because this is kind of a tight tolerance just one or two wraps around there uh, will do you just fine uh, now what I'm gonna do is get up here and I'm gonna rope all this through these bows and get it kind of hung up around the back side and then you know I had to run to the hardware store and get some special shit fucking cable clamps because obviously we lost the ones today. So let me get up here and do this. Now this is gonna look kind of sketchy because, you know, I ain't got the right shit. But, you know, we need a man lift. Uh, like a motor man lift is really what the fuck we need. Uh, we got one of those, so. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay, forget the tape. So we got one, two. Alrighty, that's all you got to do to string it. Now I just got to put it around the front pulley. Just got to put it around the front pulley and then walk it back down here. And I'm just going to do that with a regular ladder. The same process as we've done before. Uh, we gotta loop this around here. Okay. Okay, now what you gotta do is uh, put this on, and it fucking sucks. We'll take some slack out of this here. You know, this is the kind of stuff that I have to deal with on a daily basis. Last night, uh, to tell you what happened, um, the driver broke the truck during the day and uh, didn't say jack shit about it till we went to the plant last night and uh, the driver got loaded and all the asphalt came out of the back of the fucking bed and uh, all the shit like that, if you get what I'm saying, uh, because somebody didn't know that the uh, air operated cylinder got ripped off the bottom of the fucking truck. Now, don't ask me how shit gets ripped off the bottom of the fucking truck because I don't fucking know. So what you want to do is try to pull this as tight as you can. 
and then you kind of run this down in there, okay? All right, so we kind of got that like that. Then what we're going to have to do is do the other side, but we're going to leave it a little bit loose. Then we're going to loosen this up, okay, get the tension pulled out of this thing as tight as we could get it. All right, now what you have to have is you have to have one in front of the last bow and one behind uh, the last bow here. Jesus Christ. Um, it just works a lot better like that. That's how you tension it here. So what we'll do is again, uh, same thing here. Uh, we're gonna cut it off last. Got too much shit up here, fellas. Too much shit. Too much fucking shit. So again, it's just repeating the same process. We're gonna get this to, you know, we're gonna pound this in, then we're gonna loosen one up and pull her tight, and then tighten both of them up. All right, so now again, we'll just hold this, put that right here. that like that. Tighten this one down. Alright. Now we got that. Tighten. 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 Yeah! Okay, now that we got that tight, now what we got to do is obviously uh, pull this back again. Okay, <clears throat> now what we got to do is tighten this up just a little bit. Okay. Now, the best way to do this is we want to cut right about here. So what we're going to do is wrap some tape around this so the fucking shit don't fray. Just regular stock electrical tape, really. Uh, I like the Scotch 88. Um, it's a little bit thicker, I find. I just like the Scotch 88. So then what we have to do is after we get this one tightened up, we're going to go over to the other side and uh, <coughs> tighten that one up. done with that one. Now we have everything tight. Now I just got to go over there and I want to pull this forward a little bit and adjust that one so I can take some of the tension out of it and get these where, you know, they got good tension on them and all that stuff. Here's a little trick that I learned. Okay, what you do is, is you take a pair of needle nose vice grips and you lock it on that one and once we get the front one loose here you just kind of loosen loosen them up just ever so slightly then what you do is you just oh shit I'm going to have to go the other way with this all right, so this one's going to have to come off. 
I got all this tape in there and it can't it won't let me pull it. Yeah, there we go. So we pull this out of there. Alright. Then what we do, so what I do is we'll put this back on there. Oh come on, motherfucker. Motherfucker. This tape is getting in my fucking way. So what you can do is tighten your, pull the slack out. You gotta try to manhandle this. All right, so we got, we pulled about three inches out of this. That's really all that we really need because when we go to do the other thing, uh, we should be good to go. So all that this does is I'm going to show you. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move this back in to here. Okay, we got that. Now let's get this one. All right, we'll loosen this back up just enough so we can pull it. Okay, so obviously we're pulling it there, and we want to pull this pretty. It's really easier with two people, to be honest with you. I can tell. So now that you got that like that, if you guys can see this here, tighten this side up. All right, now we just gotta Pull this back. Okay. So we got that pretty tight. And what we'll do is hand tighten this shit. And that just squares the pulley back up. Okay. Just imagine, just imagine the two cables are on there. And we don't want this to hit that wheel because it puts a lot of pressure on the cable and that's how it breaks. So now that I got this adjusted up right, make sure it doesn't hit that wheel. And we'll check both sides. Okay, we got that one good. This one's good. All right, we're not into that wheel or nothing like that. And we have the tarp fixed. Another problem is, is that the dumbass fucked the tarp up up here. So I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. So I think right now we got it fixed. Uh, it's good enough to run tonight. Uh, I'm going to cycle it a couple times just to make sure that nothing gets bound up and everything works. But other than that, I think we're good. Uh, we got that problem fixed in a little over an hour and a half. It took a bunch of time when that thing fell down in there. That fucking sucked. But now we got fresh new cable on it. Uh, we should be good. The other one was fucking roached. So, uh, well, fuck. Let me cycle this a couple times. So I'll get back to you. Hopefully, you know, no more of the tarp. Okay. Uh, well, we got the tarp fixed. Uh, hope you guys kind of understand uh, kind of how those tar tarps work. Uh, not everybody does and when they you know those tarps are real finicky uh, it you got to pay attention if you get it like if it's fucked up it at all you can't just fucking you know gorilla it and run it you know back I think that's what I think that's what happened I think he, he hit something because uh, one of the flanges was bent and it shouldn't be bent and uh, the the rod is kind of bent so I have a feeling somebody hit something and don't want to admit it but I wasn't there, so I can't prove anything, but something looks fucked up. It doesn't just fucking tear the cable up that easy. But anyway, uh, that's uh, me fixing the tarp. Also, I got something in from Amazon today. 
Uh, like I said, I've been looking around for some better... Uh, I was looking for, like, a better fucking, uh, shit. A thing to hold the socket. And I saw this. Um, it's made by Proto. I'm not saying it's made by Proto, but it's made by somebody. Uh, and what this thing is, is, well, it's got that. Um, it's just, I think I could lay those socket rails and stack them up in here. It has this really nice, uh, leather handle on it here. So, I'm thinking about putting this in the in the street beast and having that rubber hand you know having this and then you can kind of cover it uh with this thing like it looks like you can wrap it up or yeah you can like you can fold it up and put it uh in this little pouch here but anyway i thought it would look good in the street beast uh you know because this will fit behind the seat easier and get uh, everything in there. The thing is big. It's a 20 inch one. Uh, it has this out here. I don't know. Maybe this is for your motherfucking Sawzall. It's plastic lined. I thought that was pretty fucking cool. I just noticed that. But anyway, uh, you know, I can put batteries and all that stuff in there. Just, uh, that snap-on thing is not made for how much stuff I got in that. So it's kind of weak. If you take it out and roll it around, I mean, it'll give you a fucking hernia. So I'm thinking about getting the sockets in this thing. Uh, nice case. I was going to get the Milwaukee Packout one, but I just felt like for the price, this did the same thing, and it didn't. Uh, the bottom was a little bit smoother. The Packout one is made to go on top of the Packout case, and Home Depot wanted $129 for that motherfucker. Amazon, $89, bucks, which is probably pretty high for a tool bag, but... Anyway, uh, I kind of like this design, so I bought that. And uh, that's really all I got going on on this Thursday, you know, just fixing tarps, uh, which I fix, I fix that truck a lot. Now, here's some. The truck that me and Nick drive, uh, I've never touched the tarp on it since the day I bought it. I brought it home, adjusted it the way that I like to adjust them, never fucking touched it. This one, you know, I got a brand new tarp on it beginning of, or in the middle of last year because somebody dumped asphalt on it. Yeah. Like I said, dumped asphalt on it. Yep. Uh, so I got a new one. And then, uh, you know, this year we've had nothing but problems with it. And I've had it adjusted, right? We've only had problems with it with one guy. So is it that guy's fault or the tarp fault? But now the tarp's kind of fucked up. So uh, this winter I'm going to have to, that Sterling needs some TLC. There, There's probably going to be a lot of repair videos with that thing. Uh, we're going to have to shut her down for a couple weeks after we make some more money and uh, do some really some uh, at-home maintenance. I need some engine mounts, trans mounts that I could find and all that shit. But anyway, I don't want to ramble on about that too long. But anyway, uh, like always, guys, visit my Patreon account. Uh, that's growing. I'm super excited about that. Uh, again, well, I'm going to shoot that... Well, you're not going to see this, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, November's tool thing will be coming up by the time you see this video. Get ready to go on there and vote for that. Whatever you guys want to see this month, within reason, uh, visit uh, the Snap-On Junkie on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook. We got that. And also, uh, in 15 days, uh, all the women's underwear that I bought, all the women's panties to go with the merch, We'll be here. Uh, it took me a little bit to find uh, women's underwear in bulk. It ain't fucking easy. You know what I'm saying? At a reasonable price. But we got them coming from China. Air freight, 15 or 20 days. We'll have that shit. Uh, we're working on finding a new merch guy right now. Like a guy to make my shirts at a reasonable price and get them done in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm hoping to have, uh, you know... My one-year anniversary video, I'm hoping to announce new merch and stickers and all that stuff. So it's coming, guys. But And that will be on the snaponjunkie.com, uh, my website. But other than that, like always, guys, thanks for watching, and I got to fucking go.